it is awesome. The Wilson Combat Grip Module. It feels like a totally new handgun, which honestly is what I needed because I didn't take this one to the range near enough. Much higher grip, as we talked about earlier. I'm getting a full grip on it compared to the compact uh, original module, but it feels way, way it is thinner in the grip. So it's going to, I have XL hands. It feels better for me. It feels more like a target competition pistol now. Uh, basically, this now feels like PPQ level ergonomics with better forward and back grip texturing to keep it stable and even perfectly underneath my pinky here, the uh, magwell. Hey guys, about to try out the Wilson Combat. My uh, video on putting it on the gun uh, already went live. So now I need to try it out at the range. If I don't shoot good today, it's because COVID. I haven't shot in like four months other than Airsoft BB gun. So uh, anyway, guys, hopefully it goes well. All right, let's do first five shots, about seven yards, guys. And again, if I shoot like a half inch, inch and a half high, it's because of how the grip angle has changed for me a bit. But that's okay, in my opinion, for a self-defense pistol, the way the new grip module naturally aligns for me. But I'll try to do some accuracy. So you see as I thought the first couple were just a little bit high, about an inch high, the first two touching. I try to drop it down to here and that's not bad on me, I must be drifted low. But uh, that kind of shows me what I said in my preview for the manual. Uh, it's going to go just a little high for me naturally. Guys, just slow testing out, slow testing out the grip module. Uh, about seven yards again, I'll go for head shots, just going to go slow. I haven't shot in four months, so that's me not the module and getting used to it got the darkened SSP eyewear with the darkened things in here why because most DGU happens at night it's dark in here anyway uh, so that's a good thing That was, all right, not bad for, you know, it basically feels like a new pistol in my hand. Four A zone, one just a little bit low. And guys, I'm testing a lot of things. I'm working for my FDO uh, weapon mounted light holster with the Olight for the first time. I've seen how the old the Olight added weight in the front helps keep recoil down. Uh, so I'm gonna test Drop it, drop it. Drop it! Got an uh, uh, Axe Mag I'm testing out too. Drop it! And thread is down. There we go. Alright, getting used to it. That first Axe Mag ran fine. shooting in four months that's okay see kind of natural which I thought this would be about an inch inch and a half I always watch my review on it when I put it on the pistol and uh, it feels a lot better and has better grip okay so here we go a little bit more again from the FDO holster muscle in combat carry grip module really awesome kind of old like PL2 Valkyrie on it and uh, I'll just do five slow Let's do five more practice in the chest.
the tightest group, but all pretty much in that. All right, so I'm still getting it down. That's so so. See right there. That's so so, but not bad. Not bad. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm trying to train some stuff, ran dry, uh, second time running that ETS mag, it did actually function fine after sitting for four months loaded fully. The first time it was always jam causing jams uh, of different kinds on the last round. So that's good, the shots are good. Uh, hopefully my draw wasn't too slow, trying to be careful working from this new holster and all that. Pretty good hits, one just a little bit low out of the box, but not bad. So you can see my hits, those are all pretty combat effective, I would say. That one's a little low for my liking, but pretty close to the spine. Uh, but other than that, considering uh, I was practicing one-handed draw as if, you know, robbery was happening. So a counter ambush, a little discreet style. So guys, on that last one, I was sidestepping and stuff, but my hits were all very effective. Oh, my holster, I think the light, the old light is hot. I don't know if that's the barrel of the old light, but I'm burning my crotch. Anyway, those three are good. You see that the eyes naturally go towards the threat. That's biology. You know, instead of here, they're there. That kind of goes along with stuff I've studied. Here, here, that's good. That would take them out right in the spine, probably. So that's good. Let's look at baddie number two. I never thought I had a very good sight picture, it was just instinctive, but they're all center line. One up there, uh, but these are all very good, touching two, four, five, six, and one kind of high, but that's all right. Uh, considering I never really felt like I was establishing a sight picture, that's okay. Now, I got to rewatch the footage because I got one left and I dropped the mag. Uh, I remember running the slide uh, as well, so I don't know. Did I get a jam? Did I do something wrong or did I do something good? Because it jammed and didn't load the last round. Hack mags, um, they've been sitting for a while. Uh, the last four months loaded. So I don't know. I'll have to rewatch the footage. All right, homie. So, like UFC fighter Derek Lewis, my balls were hot because I left the old light on. Alright, so that was at about 12 yards. I got one shitty shot down there. Very good center spine. One very good there. Good there. Four, five, six, seven. All good there. My five head shots I hit. That one's a little too left for my liking. Again, your eyes kind of drawn to the gun. And uh, with this grip, I'm always going to aim naturally a little bit high, as you see there. Hand them in the brain pan. One, two, three, four, five. Out of five head shots at 12, 13 yards. And uh, upper thoracic, good so so and completely shitty so do it that should show you there is indeed a difference between the rounded off for reach and uh, circumference length i mean i don't have a tape measure but 
it is very much there. So higher, much better grip. Magwell, uh, overall, guys, I'm really impressed. It changes my gun. It feels like a new gun. It, it excites me now. I can't wait to get it to the range. Uh, you're going to like it better if you're a competition shooter because it's grippier and you're, you're, you're going to be able to reset shots. Your splits might lower a little bit faster because you're higher up underneath the bore axis. Um, it should help possibly, you know, shave a little bit of time because of the magwa on the reloads. So this grip module I did pay for, I got a bit of a discount, uh, but I did pay for it. They wouldn't send me one totally to T&E, uh, but I give my honest opinion anyway, and really, uh, it's worth it. It is totally worth it. As you saw in the profile picture, I now have a very nice setup. Guys, please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, please look at my best Pew Pew Reviews playlist and thanks for checking out the wilson combat grip module let them know dan the wolfman sent you if you order one thanks everybody